all right what up guys i know it's been a while since i've made a video but something cool happened uh probably about october um and i'm just not making the video but um i bought a house um was tired of renting and wanted my own space so i in this crazy market luckily with my mom being a real estate agent it made it easier but still complicated um i managed to buy a house um now been wanting to make this video for a while but um i see when it's cold out no one wants to go out and record a video of them showing off their new house but uh biggest reason i want to put this on the channel is because gonna be a lot of changes that happened to this house so i figured it'd be cool to document it for you guys and then i can show you guys all the changes so let me flip this camera around and i can show you guys all right so over here it's a giant mess like i'm sure you guys can tell and then i own all the way up to that fence so you guys can tell it's a giant mess I got this house has a garage. I won't show you guys inside the garage. I'll be next video, but there's a car in there that's gonna be new to the channel. If you guys haven't seen this yet. This is my 2011 Honda Civic LX. This is the new daily. I love this car so much. Um, there's gonna be stuff coming to the channel about this car. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, as you can tell. All right, there's a lot of stuff like all this and all that that was <clears throat> branches and logs and stuff i cut down from over here and there's more that needs cut down so that's the crazy thing is like i've already done a lot of work and like you look back here and it doesn't even seem like i did a lot of work and like in here as well you can like see right here and stuff like this there was like an old fence in certain sections over here that <clears throat> was just like falling apart you can kind of see some over here i'll zoom in but uh it was not good looking whatsoever um it was you know, like you can tell like it's falling apart and it's just trashed and my insurance told me i need to take that down or i'm not gonna be covered so i mean i wanted to take it down anyways so I took it down, but now I got a lot to burn and got more stuff over there. But to give you guys kind of an idea of what some of the plans are coming up. So, probably from about here, that line right there, all this is going to get turned into gravel. Uh, I want to widen my driveway. So my roommate's cars, they rent rooms off of me. And all, all this needs to go as well. I'd like to put in gravel over here as well and make it wider over here to park cars. Um, so that would be really nice. Um, and I'm, I'm going to do it right too. I don't want to just like throw gravel down on this. Um, I'm trying to find someone who has like an excavator or a bobcat or something that can come in. And pretty much plow this to make it level with the asphalt. So that way, um, or actually even lower than the asphalt. So that way when I put the gravel on top, it uh, can pretty much be flat and level with the uh, asphalt. One thing that's really weird though, is if you look here, that's asphalt. It's got the curb here and then you got some bricks here. But if you go on the other side right here. This is dirt. And even underneath of that, it's dirt. So I'm really confused on why this was like this. It almost looks like the driveway used to be coming out to here, but it's not. So I'm not sure why that's like that. Um, let's see. On the outside, I plan on getting rid of these big, tall bushes. Uh, they just don't go with anything. And um, this one blocks the view of the window so you can't even like see down there or anything um 
probably gonna get rid of this uh railing because it makes it hard to get out that door gotta get some concrete work done here so lots of pressure washing for sure i mean you can see like in the fall i pressure washed like a little square to like just see and it's a lot cleaner right there i pressure washed the entire driveway and it was like a inch thick of mud on the whole driveway it was so bad um eventually i'd like to tear this down if you can't tell it is really bad um up there it's like falling apart it's got a light but then here is where it's really bad Like it's, you can see inside of it and everything. I'd like to tear this down. And my plan is to pretty much make it corner to corner, be one of those like screened in patios. So that way you can sit out here on a nice summer day, not be worried about being eaten up by mosquitoes and stuff like that. Um, but yeah that's that so let's go inside i'm not gonna show you all the rooms because like the bedrooms and whatnot they're just bedrooms are probably a little messy um but there's gonna be a lot of changes coming to those rooms as well and i'll try and document as much as i can or maybe even just throw a clip in at the end of a video or something I got my cat she's a pain She's in heat right now, so you guys will probably hear her a lot. But here's my living room. Got the TV, and right now we got this couch. I, it was given to me for free, so I wasn't really complaining about some of the things. Like, uh, uh, there used to be like duct tape right there and covering that hole, but it's faded, but it's nice. It was free, can't really complain. Now we're into my tiny kitchen. Don't worry about all the dishes. That's something I need to take care of. But got shelving just to make more space. Fridge. But if you can't tell, I have no counter space. I don't even have a dishwasher. So the plan is to delete these over here add more counter space and put a dishwasher underneath so that way i have counter space eventually i'm gonna get a uh, microwave that goes on top so that'll make even more counter space so that's that now if we go into here this is my office slash uh, one of the rooms for my roommates see he lives over there um but here's my uh desk all right again it's messy because just putting stuff there got an old microwave that was really nice i had it for a few years but all of a sudden it decided even when it's empty it wanted to look like a lightning show inside so that wasn't fun i had to get rid of or i had to quit using that one and the last room that i'm gonna show you guys i'll flip this off so it's not as loud is the basement now i wonder what they did with the extension cord because i see there's no light now but that's whatever now over here um it's just kind of like a small hangout area for now my cousin just got rid of his birds so that's why this is down here but um got some plans for this room but the big thing is you guys can see this stuff that that is water damage um and i'm trying to figure out what to do about it because it keeps doing stuff like this that is mold um what's weird about this house is it's got a very old stage of waterproofing done to it and it's where the water goes down into there and gets collected. But the walls keep having water damage. And, like, the mold is, like, really bad over here. 
So I need to get someone to come out here and fix that because I don't want water just nonstop coming through my walls and destroying them because I'd like to paint them, but I'm not gonna throw away money and paint them if they're immediately gonna get destroyed by water damage again. So I need to come out and have someone figure something out with that. But other than that, that's everything that I can think of. Um, like I said, there's gonna be videos or maybe even just like clips at the end of the videos of uh, progress on this house. Um, <clears throat> like I said, there's a lot that needs done. I'm planning on doing the flooring uh, just to get my roommate into this room. We moved him in here, but obviously he's just on particle board. So that room needs flooring. This room, um, the floor is just trashed. We've tried scrubbing and everything. It's just so stained and trashed. So I'm gonna eventually do that like vinyl flooring in here. I'm gonna pull this up just because it's out of place. We're gonna do vinyl flooring in here as well. So it's gonna get come up. All the bedrooms will get it. It's the bathroom, but it's just a bathroom, really tiny. So, that's everything. Obviously, paint, and it's going to be a decent house that I'm going to do a decent bit with. Um, next video, I'll show you guys the garage a little bit, and I'll show you guys the new car. Um, that's going to be the new toy. Um, and you guys are probably wondering what's the deal with um, the Integra, which... I'll tell you guys more about that in the next video as well. So, that is everything. I'll see you guys later.